Scott, we just heard that um, former heavyweight, um, he was a Golden Glove champion, Mitchell Rose passed away. We were talking about it, um, you know, famous for beating uh, Butterbean, um, getting to, into a street fight with Tyson. I mean, tell us about that. You know, you knew him personally. Well, I, used, I didn't really know Mitch so much from boxing, although I was there when he beat Butterbean. And that caused uh, top-ranked promoter Bob Arum to go completely nuts at Madison Square Garden. When, when that fight was over and Mitch Rose wasn't supposed to win, when the decision, Aaron went crazy and cursed out a matchmaker. Uh, his matchmaker was Ron uh, Katz. Ron Katz, Ron Rock and Boat, Rock and Boat Katz. And he eventually fired, soon after he fired Katz. But uh, Mitch was kind of a lowercase Mitch Green. He was a street guy. I'd see him over by the courthouse, you know, maybe once or twice a month. A friend of mine who has since died, David Epstein, a good lawyer from Brooklyn, was a, was Mitch's personal lawyer. He had that run-in with Tyson at some... Uh, not what, was, what was Mitch Rose doing at, at the courthouse all the time? What was he doing there? He was always involved in something, you know? Maybe minor criminal problem. He was not a, a hood or a criminal or anything like that. But he used to get in. He was just like I say. He was a street guy. He'd get into scrapes and fights and get thrown out of uh, nightclubs, things like that. He wasn't a bad guy. I think he used to drink a little bit. Okay. Well, tell us about the uh, the street fight with Tyson. I mean, that's like the uh, big step. Supposedly, the story went that uh, there was some uh, bottle club in Brooklyn on the down low nightclub unlicensed type place and it was four in the morning and some Tyson was in there and he had some women around him and Mitch figured he'd talk up a fight take a page out of Mitch Green's book and he'd start uh, hectoring Tyson and see if he could uh, talk his way into a fight against Tyson and a big payday so he said that Tyson only runs around with chicken chicken heads, meaning women who are, how should I say, women of easy virtue. Tyson, Tyson objected, and uh, I think Mitch got thrown out of the club, and there was no fisticuffs involved. Mitch also later wrote a book. I don't know how many copies he sold, but he wrote a book about his life. He was a, he was a minor heavyweight, but a good guy and I'll tell you one thing about that fight everything was in Butterbean's favor Eric Esch, Butterbean is his real name Eric Esch it showed the honesty of boxing when Mitch Rose won like I say Aaron went completely nuts Ron Katz got fired but at least it showed the honesty of boxing yeah, I mean, well, I mean, like the, the way that it sounds like they were looking for another knockout victim, and you know, if you go just by the record, you know, who, what was his final record? Uh, it was it was a losing record, I think, right? It was like he had it looks, looks like a when you see a record that look the numbers look like a date of birth uh, <laughs> instead of a ring record that, that tells you he was he wasn't in shape. He was very mildly talented. He wasn't any great. Like Mitch Blood Green, for example, was a five, four or five time Golden Glove champion. Uh -huh. Mitch Green was a top, top ranked uh, 10 yeah, round well, yeah, yeah. Mitch Green was a real heavyweight threat at one time. Mitch Rose was a wannabe. He was a street guy. He was rambunctious, but very pleasant. And he did write poetry and he, uh, had romantic illusions about most women walking around the streets. He was a, he wanted to be a charmer. A what? A charmer. Oh, a charmer. No, I haven't. He, a guy, a guy that, he thought he was like LL Cool J, which, if you remember, he asked LL Cool J uh, what his, his name stood for. He said, the ladies love Cool James. That's how Mitch saw himself. Okay. Now I have his record right here. Two wins, 11 losses. Two wins, 11 losses, one draw. And one of those wins was against Butterbean. 
What was Butterbean's record at the time? 15 and 0. 15 and 0. And he was a pet project, the top rank. They fed him easy opponents. I worked with Butterbean in a fight, and we did a fight when I was working with the uh, Saquon Indian Tribe in Casino out in San Diego. We did a show at uh, Camp Pendleton, the, one of the biggest uh, marine bases in the world. And we did a show up there, and Butterbean came, and there were all kinds of general, four or five star generals, three star generals, two star generals. I didn't know you had so many stars in the, with generals, but all the generals asked me. Uh, we hosted like a VIP party with the top officers in the Marine Corps, and they all, all had one request: they wanted to meet, meet Eric Ash Butterbean. I brought Butterbean into the into the VIP area, and speaking of charm, he charmed these generals, and uh, they wound up saluting Butterbean. Butterbean was a great personality. Not such a great fighter. Top rank uh, built up his record, and that's why Bob Aram went crazy because his investment in Butterbean went down the drain because of Mitch Rose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, not Rose's fault, right? Um, Again, yeah, not to compare them, but uh, you got two Mitches here, one from Brooklyn, one from Queens, but he was in no way a uh, legitimate heavyweight threat like Mitch Green was. Mitch Rose was an opponent. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I get it, you know, and, um, you know, you, have like, opponents, you don't get guys like Butterbean being 15 and 0. Yeah, I mean, listen, you get fighters like that all the time, you know, they come, they go, and uh, nobody cares, you know, so I figured it'd be kind of cool to make a video about it. Um, did you ever, um, did he ever tell you anything interesting, anything, like when you guys talked with Mitch Rose, ever tell you any joke, anything you remember? No, I just, I would see him by the courthouse and just say hello and what's up. I never really hung out with him. Did you ever ask him about the uh, the Tyson fight? The... No, he just told me it was some bullshit and he said that uh, Tyson was afraid of him and he went into a rant. He didn't okay. do a rant as good as Mitch Blood Green, but who does? All right, all right. Well, there you go. I mean, uh, I'm sorry he died. I don't know if he died of COVID. I hope he didn't. I hope it doesn't really matter if you die, you die, as uh, our governor in New York said. But on the other hand, I hope he didn't suffer. He was a very decent guy. Yeah. Mitch Rose, a rose by any other name, she'll smell as sweet. Yeah. Some Shakespeare for you. I mean, you said he was a poet, so. Who are some of the other guys that beat him? Uh, well, let's see. Monty Two Guns Barrett. Monty Barrett from Queens. Monty Barrett was a real heavyweight contender. Yeah, my, yeah I remember Monty. Yeah, he fought. Um, he fought Valua. You know, I remember Monty Barrett. He fought a bunch of guys. Um, uh, who else here? Yeah, Gerald Nobles, the Jedi. The Jedi was an undefeated heavyweight at one point, about 20 and 0. Yeah, yeah, he was like 14 and 0 at the time. And then a couple of guys, I mean, I don't know, you probably know them, or maybe maybe you don't, I don't know. Um, Pascal, no, that's not. Uh, Daryl Wilson? Daryl Wilson was the first guy to beat Shannon Briggs. There you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Daryl Wilson and uh, James Clancy. Not familiar with him. Yeah, so a couple of, you know, like lesser known guys, so. All right, well. That was one of the great rant, ranting and ravings of Bob Arum. He must have cursed uh, Ron Katz right in, right in ringside in front of everybody. He cursed Ron Katz out for about 20 minutes. You stupid mother flyer. You ruined everything. You got butter being beat, you son of a bitch. But it wasn't Katz's fault. I mean, he found the guy. It's like, what do you want the guy to do? You want the guy, man. You know, Ron Katz said, I can't fight for the guy. Mitch, Reese, Mitch Rose came to fight. Now, sometimes when that happens, uh, a guy like Mitch Rose who comes up with, uh, with a lucky strike like that, they earn a big payday or get 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 a, a shot or something. What's the next fight for Mitch Rose after? Uh, let's see. I don't think anything big came his way. 
Monty Barrett lost uh, three and my Monty Barrett was three and zero at the time, so that's not okay. A and then he loses. He keeps losing, right? And then he lost to Gerald Nobles, this Clancy guy, and Costa Philip. Who would be that besides Butterbean? Who were the guys he beat? Uh, Edgar Turpin. Oh no. Yeah, I mean, the guy was uh, Edgar Turpin was zero uh, and three. You know, perfect. So, yeah, guy ended his career. Another guy from Brooklyn. He ended his career with zero and six, five not five times, knocked out five times. So. Perfect record. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, yeah. You don't need guys like that. You don't build up records. Yeah, I'm glad we did that. All right. Um, R.I.P. Mitch Rose. You were yeah. he was a good guy, not a great fighter, but he tried hard, and he beat Butterbean. That that should be his epitaph. He beat Butterbean. 